The number one thing people always want to know is, how are we supposed to pray? This is the man from Modesto, and today we're going to go through Matthew chapter 6, uh, the beginning mostly. Now, here's what Jesus is telling people how to pray. And he says, Take heed that you do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. So he's telling them, don't do things before men. In this case, he's talking about giving alms or this even applies to doing other works as well. You don't want to do things before men to receive honors from them, but you want to do that. You want to do things for God. So this is going to apply to how we pray as well. Therefore, when you doest your alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Truly I say to you, they have their reward. But when you do alms, let not your left hand know what the right hand is doing, that your alms may be in secret, and your Father, which sees in secret himself, shall reward you openly. And when you pray, you shall not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. So that's their goal. It's not like you can never pray in public, but they're saying these men want to pray out in public because they want to be seen as people who pray and are holy men, that they can receive honor and a place and a title, that they can be called pastor or rabbi or minister, so that they can have, that they can elevate themselves up to satisfy their own ego, that they can consider themselves higher than others. This remains a problem in the churches today, that people can't rise up and always are held down uh, because that is the status, that's the structure, that's the organization of a church, is that certain people have all the power and authority and everyone else just submits and obeys, right? You have to have a covering. Who's your covering? What a stupid teaching. Jesus is your covering, y'all. Now listen to this. But you, when you pray, enter into your closet, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father which is in secret, and the Father shall... And the, the Father which sees in secret shall reward you openly. So he's saying, listen, your prayer is just for you and God. That's it. And you really want to go into a private place, your bedroom. Uh, if you live in a large house, if you share a bedroom, uh, choose a time when you can be alone. Or find a place way out in the park where no one is there. But find yourself a place to pray where uh, you can be in private. Because when you're alone and it's just you and the Holy Spirit, just you and Jesus, you and God you can really open up and have some truth there. There's no reason to worry about what the guy over here in the next pew, is he listening to what you're saying while you're praying? Uh, if you're in a group, there's no telling who has uh, a spirit of gossip or who just has no control over their tongue. And uh, that can cause you some problems later. So you want to go into just your own private space and pray, just you and God. It's going to be real honest. It's going to be pure. And you're not going to have to be worrying about what anyone else is doing. It's not going to distract you. You're just going to have a pure uh, connection with our Father in Heaven. But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knows what things you have need of before you even ask Him. So don't be amazed if you pray for something and it arrives in the mail that day. Or if you pray for some question and uh, they're discussing it in the newspaper because God still caused that answer to come to you because he knew before you asked what your question was and he knew before you requested what your need was and God will absolutely answer like that many many times and this also means that before you go somewhere you don't need to prepare an answer because God prepares for you in the time even before you ask but still, you should always ask because that is a really important part of our relationship with God. When we pray, a pray is like a request. Like, I pray thee, go unto this mountain and do that, right? I'm asking you. I'm appealing to you, right? I'm requesting for you to do this. So when we're praying to God, we're really uh, requesting, we're petitioning God. Uh, first and foremost, for greater fellowship. Uh, we want to see God involved in our lives. But He is our Father. We're adopted sons of the King of creation. So we are permitted to go and ask him. He has infinite resource, unlimited, and he will give to us according to our righteous desires. So this is the man from Modesto reminding you as always to pray or be defeated.